What's up, this has been Sammy, and today we're gonna learn some simple leg stretches to actually um, improve our breaking skills and also help prevent some injuries. So you're gonna wanna do these stretches before and after practice, and you also wanna make sure that you're warm. So make sure you top rock for about 10, 15 minutes, or if you can't do that, run around the block and you know get your blood flowing. All right, so these stretches we're actually gonna cater to our freezes, the freeze that we're gonna be doing in dancing. So instead of stretching like this for our hamstring, we're actually gonna stretch with this leg up here, all right? Also letting, allowing this to go a little bit lower. And if you're like this, well, you know, slowly but surely it's gonna go down, all right? So reach down and try to hold this. While you're stretching, you wanna make sure you breathe. You shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't hear a lot of crying and complaining while you stretch. You should actually be relaxing. It shouldn't be a painful experience, okay? So from here, you're gonna bring your leg up like this and hug your knee. Um, and while you're doing these stretches, what I want you to do is kind of count to 10 in your head. And as you do that, just take deep breaths in and breathe out, all right? From here, drop your leg down. And this is to help stretch for our lotus threes, all right? And you're gonna reach down and hold this, all right? You should feel a stretch right about here, like kind of near your hip, I guess you could say. All right. And from here, you're gonna bring your legs out as wide as you can. And we're gonna do two different stretches. We're gonna stretch to the side and hold this. This you'll also feel right here. So this will also help your upper body. Um, and from here, you're gonna go down like this, okay? And after each one of these stretches, I want you to hold your feet here and go a little bit wider, all right? The wider you go, the better. But again, it takes time, all right? So you're gonna go to the other side, do the same ones. Last one, you wanna take a deep breath in, breathe out, and go down as low as you can, okay? So while you're doing this stretch, again, make sure you breathe, make sure you relax. It shouldn't be a painful experience, it should actually be more of like a relaxing experience, all right? So the next stretch we're gonna do is also for our hip, and we're gonna put our leg over, and it's also good for your lower back as well. You're gonna reach across, and you're gonna push your leg over, just like this. If you wanna grab your foot here, that can also help. Um, and, but if you can't do that, just push with your arm over. A lot of people make the mistake of doing this, which doesn't really do you too good. So make sure you're pushing your leg the opposite way. The next stretch we're gonna do is for our quadricep muscles. And these are two stretches that actually you probably do in PE, uh, but we're gonna make it a little bit more interesting, all right? So you're gonna pull your leg up like this, all right? And this helps this muscle, all right? A lot of times when this muscle gets tight, it also leads to having some problems with your lower back. Um, like I said in my previous video, if you get it, one injury, it leads to another. So you wanna make sure that, you know, you're properly warmed up or else, you know, a lot of injuries will arise. Right. You're gonna put this leg down and you're gonna go like this. This is gonna also it's gonna stretch your quadricep, but it's also stretching your calf muscle back here. Alright? And as you get more comfortable and as you stretch this out a little bit more, you're gonna go all the way down like this. From here, what you're gonna do is actually reach back and grab your foot, just like we were doing the original quadricep stretch. And this is gonna make even more of an intense stretch, alright? So pulling here and also leaning forward at the same time. So the last drill that I have for you guys is actually a kick. Um, something that I learned when I used to do Taekwondo. Um, you're gonna step back and you're basically gonna kick up. It's called a rising kick, all right? You're gonna do 10 of these on each side, just going up and down, all right? The, the higher you get, the better you can kind of mark your progress. And you get higher and higher and eventually, you want to be able to just kick your shoulder like this, all right? So you do that on both sides, just slowly kicking up and down, keeping your legs straight, all right? Don't kick too hard, because sometimes people kick super hard and they flip and fall on their back, all right? So one more time, kick up and down. All right, so those are the leg stretches that I do. Um, you want to make sure you do these before and also after practice. And again, you want to make sure that you're properly warmed up. Don't try to stretch while you're cold. All right, and if you're really trying to get flexible, stretch while you're watching TV, stretch while your, your mind is distracted and you're not really paying attention, all right? Um, again, like if you're whining, complaining, and you know, you're thinking about these stretches too much, it just starts hurting more and more and more, 
and it doesn't really help you much, all right? So try to stretch, relax, have fun, peace.